Gary, thanks for coming back on. It seems from your announcement that Borber is unfolding just as you've planned with the, the gas shows continuing. In your announcement, you've also provided some great comparisons between Dempsey and Borba. Can you take us through the characteristics of Borba that highlight what makes it such a very different prospect when compared to Dempsey? Thanks, Alex, and uh, thanks for having me on again. Um, the Borba and, and Dempsey in the uh, Gwinda in particular, you know, is, is like chalk and cheese. Um, you know, as we put out in the Mudlog comparison this morning uh, in our release, um, in Dempsey we've got blocky sands, thick, 100 feet thick, almost continuous sands, high sand content, um, you know, solid shows, uh, whereas it, it uh, and, and described as a sand. Uh, at Dempsey, we had more more intermediate siltstones with thin, thin sandy layers. And, you know, it just, there's just really no comparison between the two. You know, the Gwinda at, at Borba is much, much better. Uh, so, you know, that, that's, that's fantastic, you know, and that's uh, what we're hoping for. That's what we uh, saw from our interpretation of the seismic um, indications of that. Now, as we've gone down, you know, also we, we've seen reinforced, you know, our depositional model. So that reinforces that, uh, you know, we, we, we're more sandy in this area. Uh, we saw more sand in the shallow section here. So the model, you know, these models persist through time and, you know, we, we're seeing that and that, that encourages us. Okay, so just for clarity, you've talked about up to or about 11 potential zones. How many have you drilled through now? It's five or six, you know, and, uh, and when you might say, well, why don't you know exactly? Well, because uh, we don't have uh, sonic logs to uh, tie the uh, what we've seen so far on mud log uh, directly back to the seismic and because seismic is in time and we need the sonic logs to get uh, times between layers. So uh, five or six have been drilled to date. You know, we've, we've talked about the Kion uh, with 92 feet of, of log pay with up to 137 feet. Uh, we've talked about the upper Gwinda uh, with 25 feet of uh, shows and uh, sand, uh, sandy section uh, up dip from a, a well that had nine feet of, of log pay um, and we we're 120 feet up dip. Uh, we've got the lower Gwinda, um, which uh, has 100 feet of, of pay and I've just talked about, uh, 100 feet of uh, shows, sorry, um, not pay until we, we log it and test it. Um, the the you know beyond that we've we've every zone that you know that we've drilled that we've had porosity we've seen porosity and we see uh, shows and you know it's it's difficult to count exactly how number where exactly we are you know compared to the seismic remember we had up to 27 uh, potential uh, anomalies in, in this area so at best I can tell five or six to date. Okay, so presumably you've got quite an exciting week of drilling ahead. Uh, and can you just talk us through you know, your focus over the next week or two? Is it focusing on those lower reservoir sweet spots? Yes, because they're they're ahead, and uh, you know it's an operation, twenty four hours a, a day, and uh, so we're continuously focused on that and and, and looking ahead uh, to getting this last thousand feet or so of section uh, drilled and and getting to total depth and and and, and logging. Um, we've we've got a thousand over a thousand feet of anomalous uh, C two ethane shows. You know, I mentioned eight hundred and eighty feet or something this morning. That was without counting the the shows through the Gwinza section. Um, we, we, we're seeing sands, we're seeing shows, uh, high shows compared to background as, as we're drilling at the moment. And, and so we've got that all ahead of us and we've got five or six zones still ahead of us on the seismic to, uh, to drill. So yeah, very exciting and uh, yeah, lots, lots of fun to be had uh, going forward. And just one final question before I let you go, Gary. For the less technical among us, can you talk us through the characteristics that you look for in a well to indicate that you have good permeability and porosity? Uh, of course, flow testing is the ultimate determinant uh, factor in that, in, in that regard, but what gives you confidence at this stage of the program? The confidence comes from the mud logs, uh, the description of the, of the uh, re reservoir and potential reservoir as we go through. You know, coarse sands, um, you know, 
not 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 overly cemented, um, rounded, the good reservoir model. And the more we see of that, the higher our expectations are of having good porosity. When you have good porosity, your probability of having uh, good permeability um, goes with that. And, and so that, that's what gives us confidence. When we log, um, you know, we'll, we'll log uh, this next uh, sequence from the Gwinder down to, to basement with uh, triple combo logs, uh, which will give us sonic uh, porosity, uh, neutron density uh, porosity. Um, we'll see uh, mud cake build up uh, around the well bore in, in, and that indicates good permeability. And so all of those things that come together and, and years of experience Experience, you know, in reading all of these uh, pieces of information, give us confidence that uh, that you know we, we we're seeing good permeability and porosity, and and ultimately expect good flow rates. You know, we talk about flow rates. You know, we've seen here is the best anyone that I've talked to involved with the operation has seen uh, in the basin, in, in this area of the basin particularly. And remember, the Quinta produces and has produced to the south, just at the winter, um, well, as field, just to the south of us. And so uh, you know, that, that, that uh, observation gives us confidence as well. And, you know, the Quinta is slightly pressured, uh, so, you know, we'd expect a, a good uh, recovery rate uh, for the Quinta as well. We've got 100 feet of, of nice uh, uh, mud log um, and, and, you know, we probably drain 100 acres uh, out here and and, uh, and you might expect something around 1,000 uh, MCF per acre foot. So people can do their own numbers and, and see that th these are, these are serious, uh, serious uh, opportunities and, and uh, we can see why we're excited. Great. Thanks for the update, Gary. And uh, we'll be touching base as soon as we see some more news come through. And uh, as always, thanks for joining me. You're welcome, Alex. It's uh, fun to be on.